I'm Nate Brown. Welcome to another Drum Magazine drum lesson. This drum lesson covers the song Achilles' Last Stand by Led Zeppelin, and you can find the transcription that I'm using in the October 2010 issue of Drum Magazine. I'm going to start by playing this all the way through at normal tempo, and I will be playing all the way up until the variation. I'm gonna count measures one and two for you. One and the two and three and the four. One and the two, three and four. You're gonna see that throughout this song in the main beats, you keep straight eighth notes with the right hand or the leading hand. The bass drum can be difficult to get up to speed. Just take it slowly and gradually increase that every day and you'll get it. On the last measure of line one, Bonham throws in a cool fill. One and the two. Starts on count three. Three E, A, uh, E, and A. Uh. Now it would be difficult to count that at tempo. Three E, uh, E, and uh. It's best to get the feel of the rhythm down. On the second line, it's important to remember to accent the one and the and with the crashes. One. The third line is at the guitar solo of the song. It's important to remember that this transcription here is just excerpts uh, to give you the overall feel of the song. So the guitar solo starts with a crash and it goes to the ride. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and two, three, and four, and. I think line four will present the most difficulty as far as timing goes because there's a metric modulation. And I want you to look at the symbol above the 5-4 time signature. There's an eighth note, an equal sign, and then a quarter note with a three above it. What that means is that the quarter note triplet is now the same tempo as the eighth notes were. If you do a little math and double that, basically that means that the eighth note triplets are going to be the same speed as the sixteenth notes were. Just for an example, I'll start the metronome, and I have the metronome beating in 4-4 time with 16th notes, which really wouldn't be the accurate uh, way to set up a metronome for this. But because it switches back and forth in the song, I just keep it this way. So there's the 16th notes, 3 and a 4 and a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 4 and The 8th note triplets are going to be played that tempo. Look at the variation. The variation, the next time that this comes up in the song, you're going to hit quarter notes instead of the rest. It's going to sound like this. Keeping that rhythm in mind, the first time you play that triplet groove, it makes that rest easier. Da, da. Da, da. And those are some excerpts from Achilles' Last Stand. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Practice these grooves, get them down, and have fun. Keep drumming.